So welcome again, this is Tiger Shack from the ED Forums and uh, once again I'm here to talk to you about part two of making the A10 panel for, um, well, for A10. Um, you may recall, and uh, I'm showing you the screen here, that uh, we talked last week, or the last episode, not last week, last episode, about uh, making this panel and the fact that you would have bought uh, several toggle switches, you would have used the the Illustrator template, the drill holes, and you would have mounted your toggle switches. Now you have this piece of plastic with toggle switches hanging out of it. How do you connect these toggle switches to your computer? Now in order to do this, you've, you've got a couple of options. Uh, you could take apart an old keyboard, and you could uh, maybe pull apart some of the electronics in the, uh, in the keyboard and, and uh, rig them up to your toggle switch. Um, you could take apart an old joystick, um, both of these options, you know, uh, they're possible, but with a joystick you might be restricted to the only the, the amount of buttons that the joystick has. Uh, with a keyboard, well, keyboards have their own uh, unique set of problems in that uh, sometimes pressing down more than two keys at a time uh, has a problem. Uh, the signals are not sent, where on the joystick you could actually press several keys at a time and uh, the computer has no problem with it. So what we're really looking for is, is well, what I was really looking for was, was, a, was a USB interface. So something that would be plug and play and I could just hook these toggle switches up to. Now, you've got a couple of options here. The one I went for was with a company called uh, Groovy Game Gear. And they have two uh, interfaces called the GPWiz40 and the GPWiz40 Echo. Uh, you can see the prices, right, for about 30 bucks. And uh, this one is really quite good. This one is uh, around 40 bucks, but uh, if you're not interested in soldering anything and you just want to use screw, uh, screw type uh, attachments to screw your leads to, then that's probably the one you want to go for. Um, just be aware that the drawback of this is that it can be quite big. So as a result, uh, it might be difficult to fit this into a tight space. This is the one I'm going to work with. I'm going to show you, but just in the interests of... Uh, of, um, you know, what, the interest of fairness. I'll show you another one. This is another UA USB interface. I don't have um, experience with this one, but this one looks quite cool because it's very, very small. As you can see by the size, it's really quite small. Um, unfortunately, it only has eight analog input, uh, well, 32 buttons, but if you want to use the 32 buttons, you need to do a little bit, something a little bit more complicated than what you do with mine, uh, well, with the Groovy Game Gear. But equally, this is equally, would do the same job, uh, also around the same price. This one, well, about 50 bucks, a little bit more expensive than the one I showed you before. So I went with uh, Groovy Game Gear. I went with this one, but uh, in future I'll probably be buying the one with solar leads. And how exactly does this work? Well, it's very, very simple. You take the toggle switches and you screw them into these, uh, these little output, these little inputs here. And, uh, well, here's another big picture of it. And what happens is that on your Windows control panel, it thinks it's a joystick with 32 buttons. Okay? Now, you can actually plug other things into this, like uh, potentiometers, and, and you could actually build your own joystick with this if you wanted to. But what, all we're interested in is using this as a, as a button controller. So uh, what's really cool about this is that when you plug it in and you have your toggle switches open, you'll be able to look at the Windows control panel and see these buttons light up as you press buttons, as you flick toggles and uh, and this is this is really as simple as it gets. Um, the hardest part of, of building my panel was researching all these options out there and finding one that was right for me and uh, this was the guy that was right for me. So that was part two, the discussion of the USB interface. In our next episode we'll talk about wiring this up and uh, after wiring it up, we'll also talk about how we set up DCS A10 in the uh, Game Controllers panel, in the Options panel, to make your toggle switches work in the way that uh, they were intended. So uh, I hope this has been clear for you so far. I'm not getting any comments on the YouTube or any comments in the forum, so I guess this is either all clear or nobody gives a shit, or maybe a combination of both. But um, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. Oh, look, and here's something else, too. You can actually buy extra the leads where it requires little to no screwing, even, or soldering. This sort of pre-formatted leads for it's very nice. Um, 
So, uh, like I said, next episode we'll show all this stuff wired up. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this.